Hey guys, Dearest Twin One here to give you part six of the tutorial series for the speedrun of Dragon Warrior One GBC. For this run, we're actually going to do two dragons at level twelve, and then we're going to replenish the keys and go get our repellents again. So I, I really want to just walk you through the level twelve fights. Uh, we're going to do two of them. They're not going to be different, more than likely, but I just want to make sure you kind of have a firm understanding of what exactly you need to do. So if you notice, we repellented there again. Um, we actually walked a few steps away from the castle. But that's okay because we were under 25 health when uh, we ended the dragon fight. Basically, as soon as you cast the second repellent just up here, you have 25 steps as soon as you exit the cave after the dragon fight. So if you're under 25 health, you're not going to have to cast another repellent. Uh, if you're over it, you can either cast another repellent and then keep walking from there, or you can just uh, walk it out until death and then cast a repellent once you leave the castle. Either way is fine. Um, it's kind of up to luck to see if you're going to get into a fight early or not. So if you notice we healed up and did Radiant, we're going to heal up for all the dragon fights up to level 14, and after that we're kind of going to play by ear of exactly what we want to do. I'll walk you through at each level though so you don't have to worry about remembering that right now. Also with more experience you'll kind of know exactly what you want to do for the dragon fights. So same as the last time we did dragon, we're just going to walk to them, we're going to fight every enemy we can. Um, We'd prefer to flee, but since we're not guaranteed to flee on the first try, it's not worth it. It's actually just faster just to attack because we're more than likely going to fail a flee or two. So we're going to do something a little bit different here because we normally hover around 20 uh, HP damage we do to Dragon. So he has 153 HP, which means that if we did 20 each time, it'd take us 8 hits. And that's a, uh, So what we can do with the math is we can plus minus scale. So like 19, that's minus 1. So you do 20 plus or minus whatever you do for the damage, and what you're looking for is 8 attacks minus 7. That gets us to uh, 153. You can also do the inverse and do plus 13 to get 7 attacks. So you notice we're at plus 1 after 3, which means we're probably going to have 5 uh, attacks we're going to have to do. So that's plus uh, 1 after 4, that's 0 after 5, which means we're definitely going to need 8 attacks. So, here we go, another another attack. So here, this is a little risky. I think I have enough HP, but yeah, we're fine. So we got two dragon hits and go. So uh, that math ended up working out for us. You can kind of cast heal uh, if you get worried about it. He could have done 18 damage twice there and we'd have died, but luckily enough, we were pretty confident he wasn't gonna hit 18 twice. 18 is a pretty high roll. But so you notice we just cast outside, walk around in the death pit, and then we come back. So now we're going to walk out of the castle, and we're going to go do this fight again. Um, this next fight's actually a little bit nicer. Since we're going to come back and get keys and get repellents, we actually don't need to be that close to death for a dragon. Um, that doesn't mean we should cast heal all the time, because it is kind of a waste of time to be healing all the time in battle. But we don't need to be uh, cutting like right against zero HP at the end of the battle. So we're going to be a little safer at the end, uh, just in case we run into any issues. Uh, the fight might still work out perfectly where we can be low HP though, so we shouldn't just be casting heal because we can, we should do it because it's a safety precaution. So, same standard route, we're going to do the repellents, we're going to go to the cave, we're going to cast heal, and then we're going to go fight the, level, the dragon at level 12 again. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to count it off, we're going to do the plus minus scale, and go from there. Um, some people just do straight math, they'll just, you know, 19, get another 19 is 38, and they'll just count their way up to 153 kind of keeping track of where they're at. I personally like to keep track of the number of hits as opposed to anything else. Um, it's also nice to know that eight hits is almost always going to kill Dragon here. So if you look at my notes, I actually have a, uh, a script that does nine hits. It's a very safe script. It's uh, as safe as possible, basically. And it's a guaranteed win no matter what, assuming you don't miss anything. Um, or even if you critical or anything, if you follow that script, you're gonna win. But once again, that's not an optimal script, that's just a safe script. So we're going to walk through, we're going to get to Dragon, and we're going to go. Alright, we're going to do the plus minus game again. So, minus 3 to start, that's kind of bad. Here's minus 6. Minus 5 with 3. Remember we're looking for minus 7 and 8. Healed up just to be safe. Alright, that's minus three, minus two. Get our heels off. Okay, that's minus four. Got two more hits. 
Yeah, minus three, so we'd have to have a really bad hit. And we get a Kaishin, so we're good to go. So remember, we were playing a little bit safe there because we don't have to worry about dying here, or not very soon. Uh, we're going to go back to actually high damage steps once we return to the castle. Uh, so being with high health isn't that big of a deal. You don't want to be at like 40 health or anything like that, but 24 is very easy to manage. So you notice we just picked up return. That's actually something we're going to utilize to get out of the castle going forward. Uh, but first we're going to go get our repellents. That's very important. At level 15 we actually learn repel and we don't have to do this anymore. But this saves a lot of time from not having to get into monster battles that aren't worth a lot of experience. So we're going to stock up on our repellents here. We're going to get six and then we're going to cast return to go back to the castle. Now we're going to go inside, we're going to go fill up our keys, and then we're going to die to the damage tiles. These damage tiles actually do um, 8 a piece, I believe. It's either 6 or 8. Sorry, I never remember, I just walk it out. But they do a, a much higher amount of damage, so it's very easy to die soon. So even if you were, say, at like full health, it's going to be somewhere between, uh, between 10 to 15 steps, so it's not a big deal. So you're going to get your 6 keys here, you're going to go south from here, go step on the damage tiles, and then return to the king. And that'll be the end of this split. And the fourth one gets us. So it does look like they do six damage. So that's it. That was the level 12 fights. Um, we're at level 13 now. So we're going to show Dragon off a couple more times to get to level 14, and we're going to work our way up to level 16, and then kind of uh, do a little bit of variation from there. But... Thank you for watching, hopefully you tune in for the next split which will be the uh, level 13 dragon kills, and uh, hopefully we see you again.